hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not in the fair act uses in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all so I want to get back to the story, okay? Um, Felicia Johnson, okay? Now, people was coming into my comment section, and they were telling me about um, these money rituals that people in Nigeria does, okay, y'all? And then I got to looking at a couple things. And going back to the little, you know, the story about what all happened with her. Now, I want y'all to think about something. I want y'all to think about this. Um, this guy, Nwubido or something like that, the one that, you know, she was with, allegedly, that's on the run right now for taking her life. Now, word on the street is he was supposed to give her $500, okay? He was going to give her $500. I don't know if this is what she asked for, whatever, whatever. Y'all y'all know, do the math, okay? Y'all know, okay, what's going on? Because she just met him. And he was supposed to give her $500. Now, the thing of it is, which don't make no sense, but then it does make sense when you think about, you know, what somebody left in my comment section, okay? Why would he, because there's a record of him going to the bank and getting out $500, so ask yourself this question, y'all. Why in the world would he go and take out the $500 that he said that he was going to give her? Why would this man take out that $500? And he didn't give it to her. And it makes you wonder, what did he do with this money? Now, if people are saying that, you know, this is something that they do, that they do money rituals, did he bury her with this money, y'all? I don't know how they do their little money ritual thing. But ask yourself this question. What would be the purpose of going to get this $500 out the bank as if you were going to give it to her and you were going to take her out anyway? It don't make sense. But it makes sense about this. Then I went and started looking up, you know, money rituals and stuff like that in Nigeria. And I found this video about a news station report and they're saying that this is this year in february recently on the rise and mind you remember when i was telling y'all you know my day ones twos and threes and you know my new subs that was coming in that was in the pisces era i was telling people to be careful in in february because you know it was like a sacrificial month this year because of the two 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 and all of that other stuff okay and this video came out in February talking about money rituals and that, you know, people's demise was on the rise in Nigeria, y'all, because of these money rituals. Now, pay attention to, you know, these religious leaders that's, you know, call themselves coming forward, blaming that, you know, the little ritual killings on people and, you know, these young guy people. And this is what they're doing now because they feel that they have to, you know, offer up sacrifices so that they can come up this is what's being pushed out in the world y'all we know it from the rappers and all of this other stuff that you know you in in the you know not just rappers artists period people that's out here dippling and dabbling in this dark sinister mess you know allegedly they are coming up off of sacrifices okay y'all this is what they're saying this is what has starting to be proven with a lot of things that we're seeing on social media. Okay? Now, what got me was this guy's name. Okay? His name. Look at his name and look at these leaders over here. Look at their name. Okay, y'all? So, I was like, wow. That's really, really close. Okay? Really, really close. So, could there be something to this, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Now, another thing that comes to mind when you think about Felicia's case, Felicia Johnson's case, okay? And they're saying that the police had picked this guy up, 
they had all this evidence okay blood in his apartment blood in his car um shovels in his car weapons in his car y'all and they still let this guy go now soon as this happened it made me think about something okay it made me think about um another case that somebody was you know taken apart because this woman right here felicia was taken apart allegedly okay she was you know put in a lot of pieces okay y'all and y'all have to think about people that put people in a lot of pieces and you have to think about how the, these things relate okay now there was another story that came out this was some years ago this story right here came out i don't know if you all remember this case but her name is martrice richardson okay and she came up missing in malibu california okay some years ago all right she was at this restaurant they said that she was like you know wasn't herself that she had like a little that you know it came out later that she had sort of mental illness or things like that because i remember when this case first came out people thought that she somebody had given her something in the restaurant because all of a sudden she started acting belligerent and just like you know not herself and you know they said that the restaurant owners and everything they call the workers or whatever they called the police and told them that she didn't want to pay her bill and that she was acting weird and stuff so the police came and picked her up now the thing of it is that gets me about this story which makes you think about you know felicia johnson's story okay when the police came to pick her up now she came to that restaurant with a car with a phone and everything her purse keys all okay when the police came to pick her up it seemed like they were on some bull crap from the start okay because number one they picked her up and they took her to the police station but you know what they did with her belongings instead of taking her things with her to the police station so that they can put it up so when she gets released she will have her phone belongings and purse and this and that and, that and this they took her belongings and threw it in the car they took her phone and put it in the car. They took her purse and put it in the car. Her keys and put it in the car. And they knew that her car was going to be towed, y'all. Okay? Her car was impounded. Okay, y'all? So it made you wonder. Now, mind you, they say that, you know, this state is a little bit racist. Okay? It's quite a few racist people at this police station. This is what they're saying. And they're saying that... um. This is what they did to her. So it seems like they were already setting her up to come up missing and not being able to call anybody or do anything about it. Now, if she wasn't in her right mind, then she didn't know to just sit at that police station. If she had to sit on the steps of the police station until the next morning and just sleep there until her mama came to pick her up. She wasn't in her right mind to do that. She just, they let her out in the middle of the night. Okay, after they arrested her and they said that she was acting weird in the police station, her mother, she talked to her, they talked to her mother, the people that was on duty that night, they talked to her mother at the police station because she didn't live in that area. She didn't know that area like that. And her mother told him, you know, are you going to release her tonight? She asked them and they said, no, she will be released in the morning. Okay, and she said good because she do not want her wandering around and stuff. She did not want to hear on the news that she was missing the next day. She said, you know how these stories be going. And they promised her that they would not let her out in the middle of the night. So her mother, you know, went to sleep or whatever and felt like she'll time herself a couple hours and then she'll go pick up her baby. But lo and behold, y'all. When it hit after 12, okay, y'all, they let this baby out of the police station. And they said that she was not in her right mind. They let her out, and she was wandering around, walking in the pitch black darkness, y'all, okay? Because y'all know a lot of these roads, they don't have street lights and stuff, okay? This is what she was walking on when she left from the police station. Now, mind you, she don't know the area, y'all. She knows nothing about this area like that. 
And we don't know if she was there to meet somebody at that restaurant or she just wandered there. Whatever had went. She ended up by herself. Okay. In a place where she was not familiar with. They let this baby out. Now this is daytime and you're seeing how it looks. It looks spooky in this daytime. What could you imagine that it looked like at nighttime with her walking around by herself on this lonely road, y'all? This is what the police did, okay? And the crazy part, these guys should have been all arrested that had something to do with this, this police. And you have to ask yourself this question, y'all. Does these polices have something to do with a lot of these people coming up missing? Do they play a part in it? Are they a part of these cults that's doing all of these little rituals? Because a word on the street is. They found her, but every, you know, her body just ripped apart, y'all. Okay? They found pieces. And when her mother came out there, you know, to, you know, pay her respects to where her baby was found, they were still finding parts of this baby's body out here in these woods. Okay, y'all? Now, another thing people were saying about this area where they found this baby at. And you can see she looked just like a mama. Okay. Another thing that they're saying about this area was this area is around, you know, some, you know, very rich folks property. Okay. And these rich folks property that they found parts of this baby's body at, was, um, People that do those tobacco movies, y'all. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Them underground tobacco movies. Okay? And, um... A lot of people were saying that it had something to do with some kind of ritual stuff, too. So, you have to ask yourself this question, y'all. Is these polices stupid or just careless? Or... Do they have something to do with this stuff? Think about Felicia Johnson again, okay? They found, you know, they put, they arrested her, the person that did something to her. They arrested him. They found evidence in his phone, pictures of not only her body parts, other people's body parts were found in his phone, y'all. And he was released from the jail. What are these people getting paid for now? When they're not keeping the criminals in there. They're so quick to release people. That they've done some major stuff to people. Okay, y'all. I want y'all to think about all of this. All right. Now. This is Martrice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Young black woman. Was it a, mis a mistake on the police part? Or was it something more? Ask yourself this question. Now, after that, they found her parts and all of this stuff. Somebody went out there and painted a mural, y'all. I don't know if y'all remember this story. But somebody went out there and painted a mural. Talking about women with afros. And showing somebody in different positions and stuff. On a big old mural that they painted on the wall. As if it was a joke. To them doing whatever it was that they did to this baby that night. And is anybody paying for this right now? There is a witness that came forward. And said she have information on who could have done this. And authorities, they're ignoring it, y'all. That's another whole story. We're going to talk about that too on another, on another video. But the police are ignoring that this person could be behind what happened to her. And why are they ignoring it? Ask yourself this question. Unless they played a part. Because it seems as if when they came and showed up and saw this pretty black woman. It seemed like the wheels got the spinning right, right when they came and picked her up. Who takes a woman's belongings? She could have had asthma, anything. Why did they throw her purse in her car and they knew her car was going to be towed? What if she would have needed some kind of medication or anything like that out of that purse? They did not care. It seems as if 
They knew that they were gonna, they were going to release this woman in the middle of the night, and they knew that they were going to do some things to this woman, allegedly. This is how it seems. We all know that people that's into these cults and stuff, they hold down good jobs, y'all. So who's to say that some of these members are not members of the police station, y'all? Ask yourself this question, okay? Now let's keep going. This is another instance that happened similar to what's going on with these girls. Jeffrey Dahmer, y'all. I know y'all remember him. When they came out with that song, he's a man eater, you know, she's a man eater. He took that song very serious, okay, y'all? This man right here, one of his victims, got away from him, y'all. One of his victims, this guy had many, many victims, y'all. But one of his victims got away. And I think his name was Conorak or something like that. This is the police officer that ran into the victim. This guy right here. He runs into the victim. The victim has blood on him. He's, you know kind of out of his mind, trying to come off of whatever was given to him, you know, so that his mind would be all over the place. And he runs into this police officer. Mind you, he don't have anything on and he's bleeding. And this guy, Jeffrey Dahmer, comes to this police officer and tells this police officer that this is my lover. I'll take care of him. Let me take him on back home. And this guy releases the victim back to the person that victimized him. And he finished doing whatever it is he was doing to him. And he was in pieces too. And he feasted on those pieces, y'all, afterwards. After he finished doing whatever it is that he wanted to do to that young man, y'all. Now, mind you, he was much, much, much a lot younger than Jeffrey Dahmer, too, okay? So why did the police believe the person that was causing the harm instead of helping this baby? Are they a part of this mess? Do a lot of police officers belong to cults, y'all? You have to ask yourself this question. When they keep letting people get out, that's doing these things over and over again. You have to ask yourself this question. Because some don't seem right about these instances. All over the world. That things like this is happening. Along with all the other injustices that's going on. You have things like this that slips through the crack. And you're like, what the heck is going on out here? Because everybody is scratching their head right now about this Felicia Johnson case. Okay, they're scratching their heads as to how in the world that this police officer in this police station could have let this man go, y'all. Is this guy high ranking? Ask yourself this question Do he have some kind of rank that he can get away with murder, y'all? And it's, it's, it's starting to come out now, and it seems as if. He's a serial person that does this. She's not the only one. They found evidence in this phone of more women. Y'all, you saw what I what came up when I was playing with the numbers. What's really going on out here in these streets, y'all? You gotta ask yourself this question. But we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep on, you know, up on the updates for this story right here because. I want to see if they're going to catch this guy. I really do. I want to see if they're going to get this guy or have they made a way for this guy to get back to his country and get away with what he has done to most likely a lot of women and probably a lot of women of color. Is this why a lot of them is getting away with this too sometimes? When it's somebody of other races of color, it's not as important to them. And like I told you, a lot of people in the comment section on people videos that was talking about this, they're lighting her up saying that she is her own fault. Does she play a part in it? Yes, because she's meeting people online. 
and going to meet with people and telling people she's going to do something else when she's doing something else, y'all, okay? But that does not mean that she deserved what happened to her, okay, y'all? So we're going to keep up with this story. We're going to try to keep up with this one, okay, y'all? Um, I want to do an update on the dancers, okay? Because people were getting on me about them chilies. When I said, oh, the chili, the she isn't, they are not chili, though. They are, you know, just since whatever they were dancers there's no disrespect i'm just you know they look like chili to me look at the pictures okay y'all but anyway please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all peace